Today is the day South Alabama football fans have been waiting for. The Jaguars are now a fully fledged D1 bowl eligible program and it all kicks off tonight. So happy to have head coach Joey Jones here on the program. Coach Jones, thanks so much for joining us and coming in today. Glad to be here. Well, you know what? I've been covering your program since day one, since the first year when you got started. And first, I just want to say you and your staff have done such an amazing job. You guys have done so well. Well, I appreciate that. And one of the things that uh, we've done has been a lot of hard work uh, building this program, uh, to say the least. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's all about wins on Saturdays and, and Thursday nights in this case. Uh, but uh, our team is much improved right now. Uh, we're so much better right now than we were in 2009. Uh, I can honestly say that, and we're excited about this game tonight. Yeah, knowing that, when you look at this in the last four years building up to tonight, how special is this season going to be for you, knowing that you started with what you had and now you've gotten to this point? Here's what's special to me. We have a group of seniors that came in. And they believed in the dream in 2009. Yeah. Uh, they all came in. All those guys are fifth-year seniors now. We have 20, 28 seniors this year. Wow. And uh, so which makes a big difference. But those guys, to me, uh, believe in our program, came in when there was nothing. We had no field house. We had no footballs. We didn't have anything. They believed in it, and they got a chance to put us on the map. And I think uh, they're kind of taking that to heart, our seniors are, and our whole football team. But it's really trickling down from our seniors. Well, speaking of putting you guys on the map, this year's schedule is fantastic. Lots of huge games to talk about, some big Sun Belt games here at home. Then we have two giant games on the road with Navy and Tennessee, which is the sixth largest non-racing stadium in the world. How exciting is that going to be to play in front of 100 plus thousand people? Well, I hope it's going to be exciting. <laughs> it's a big exciting jog out there, and, and uh, you know I played in that stadium a couple times. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there, there's some there's some rabid fans there in Tennessee, and they do a good job supporting their team. So, we're, I know our players are very excited about any of those type games. Yeah, here's a question we kind of touched on a little bit, and it's the unfair question to ask a coach. It's always difficult to answer. How's this year's team going to be? You know, um, we are so much improved right now, and I'm not. That's, that's not coach speak. Uh, mm -hmm. We're just better. Um, we have more seniors, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, we're just bigger and faster and stronger. And, and uh, the biggest thing, though, is probably just a maturity aspect. I mean, an experience factor. When you go through a season like we did last year, which we chose to do, we decided to play up Division One to be ready for this year. Right. Which, you know, we took a few lumps. Uh, but we, we got some great experience from that. But our players have really learned through that experience that, hey, you know, we can do this mm -hmm. if we do our part. And, and that's kind of where we are as a team. I see a much calmer, confident football team right now. You guys did take a few lumps, but a couple of those big games, you were hanging in there until the fourth quarter. So definitely, like you said, a learning experience and helps to have that senior leadership. Now, tonight's game, let's talk about that. What, what should the folks know about Southern Utah heading into this matchup? Well, first, first thing I'll say is uh, in the last five years, that conference that they are in, they put three teams in the national championship game so wow. in FCS and so they are a very good team people we, people around here don't know about Southern Utah because it's so far away but we know as a staff and a team that they're very capable very good football program they're not scared of anybody I mean they, they go play teams and they play Cal and they played you know, a lot of division one teams around the country and done very well so it's gonna be a tough ball game tonight well, you mentioned earlier, not just coach speak. I'm going to say not just anchor speak. I truly think what you guys have done is amazing. The program is growing and growing and getting bigger and better every year. And you guys can take part tonight. Lad Peebles Stadium, years in the making, South Alabama, now fully-fledged D1 Bowl eligible. It all kicks off at 630. Coach Jones, good luck this season. Thanks so much for coming Thank in and go. joining us. Appreciate it. And go Jags. Right? Okay, I hear you. Go Jags.